How we talk about children really, really matters. So a way that someone might typically introduce a child to me if they would like some advice from them would be like this. So CK is a lack with ASD, his emotional regulation is poor and so is his attendance at 63% uh, and he's one of our low achieving children. That's quite a standard way that somebody might introduce a child to me. They're telling me all the things that I need to know in order to be able to help them to help the child. But there would be a different way of introducing CK. You could introduce CK this way. Calvin, he has a name. Calvin is funny and kind. He's a brilliant big brother and a great goalie. He loves to draw and has a keen interest in dogs. Now, both of these introductions tell us about the same child, but one leads with strengths. We learn that Calvin is funny. He's a great goalie. He's a brilliant big brother. He knows everything there is to know about dogs. And this gives us a really, really positive outlook on Calvin. And it gives us loads and loads of different ways in right from the word go. And it just generally gets us kind of happy and excited to be learning more about him, to be working with him, to be helping him and so on. Whereas CK, I mean, CK is just really a list of issues, labels, problems. We don't really see the child at all here. We're just seeing barriers, things to overcome, problems to be solved. We've probably given up on this child before they've even really entered the room, if ever indeed they do enter the room. So you see these two very different ways of talking about this child make them come across totally different to the adults around them. But the other thing that we do need to remember with this, it's not just about the story we're telling about the child, it's about the story that they will tell about themselves in turn. And the stories we as adults tell about children are the stories that they adopt as their own. So we need to think, do we want Calvin to see himself as funny and kind, a brilliant big brother, a goalie who's great and someone who knows everything about dogs? Or do we want him to think of himself as a lack with autistic spectrum disorder who has got low achievement, low attendance and all the problems under the sun. We need to let Calvin know he's a good egg. We see his strengths. We need to create space for those strengths to shine. So I would encourage all of you just to think really carefully about trying to adopt this strength first language. So whenever we're talking about a child, if we can physically bring them into the room, but if not, bring their picture, bring some information about them, come armed with information about what makes this child brilliant. Even those children who present the most challenge to you, in fact, especially the children who present the most challenge to you are the ones where we need to look a little bit deeper, understand what makes them tick, understand what about this child is good, what are their protective factors, the strengths we can draw on, the things that are going to make them enjoyable for us to work with as well. It really, really changes how we see the children in turn. It changes how they see themselves. And remember that for us, this child might be one of many, but this is their whole world that we're talking about. I hope that you found this idea helpful. Please do share it if so. Until next time.